What's up guys? Got a problem, ask the BMX, but I'm Bill Nitschke and I'm gonna show you guys how to break a chain today. What I've got right here in my hand is the Shadow Conspiracy chain breaker, chain tool. I like this one, beefy. It's got great pins on it. Also, the pin on this one, you can adjust. So depending on how wide your chain is, you're gonna be able to adjust that for the depth in which you're gonna push the pin out so you don't push it all the way out and you gotta tap it and hammer it back in. You don't want any extra problems. I wanna make this real simple. It shouldn't take but a couple of minutes to basically change out a chain. If you have to break one, separate it, put a new one on, you should be going within a couple of minutes. Like I said, this already has a self-adjuster. I've already measured it out. Right now, what we're gonna do is grab a KMC 710 SL chain. I like this chain super strong. The pins on it are great. They're super tight in the plates. And uh, to date, I haven't had any problems with breaking these chains. Some of you are going to run half link chains. That's great. That's what this chain breaker is all about. You're not really going to break the chain. You're just basically going to push a pin out, and that's what's going to allow us to separate it. So basically, what you're going to do is take the chain. As you have grooves here in the chain, you also have this spot right here, which is what your chain is going to sit on to hold the chain in there from being pushed out as you're pushing the pin out. You want to make sure that that chain is stable in there and that's what this does right here that plate holds it against it this base right here so what you're going to do is snug this pin up right here as you screw in tighter it's going to push that pin out what you want to do is make sure that that pin sits perfectly because they're hollow pins that pin sits screws right into the center of that it's great if you have solid pins in your chain it's a little bit crazier those are going to move out of the way sometimes and kind of bounce on you and kind of push off so you're going to want to make sure that you hold this as tight as you can and as straight as you can up against this base. So when you're pushing that, once you get it started, it's good. But uh, until then, it might move on you. Either way, start cranking that down. You're gonna start to see on this side right here, that's gonna start pushing that through. And like I said, this has a depth guide. So it's only gonna push it through until I want it to stop. You're gonna notice this thing's kinda tight right here. Ugh! It's tight, it's all right, man. We're tough enough to handle it, it's just a chain. Anyway, it'll be tight, it'll be snug, but then it's gonna loosen up like right now. So you can just spin it right here. Spin that thing all the way to the edge, right there, where it goes, right there, it's gonna stop, and then just back it out as simple as that. In this case, to make things easier, faster, go ahead and spin this all the way out until you see this pin right here, pretty much go flush with about this part of the chain breaker. The reason why is the next step coming up here shortly. Now, if you notice that, as soon as I pulled that out, this happened right here. It fell apart easily that's what you're looking for all right when you're ready to take your chain put a new one on you're gonna have these chain pieces coming together basically all you're gonna do is put them right back together it's just like a puzzle so you're gonna go right back together you're gonna to see that this end sticks out further now here's the fun part making sure everything lines up when you put two pieces together usually on your bike you're gonna to want to put the chain or the pin side right here on the chain facing out that way you're able to screw in towards the bike instead of trying to screw through the bike. It's a pain in the butt, you don't want to do that. Anyway, going back to this, you're going to take these two pieces of chain again, you're going to connect the two centered right here in this part of the chain puller where the two pieces come together and you're going to want to hold those because those two plates right there are going to want to line up so that pin in there is going to go in through the middle of the chain here where the two pieces line up. This is what I was talking about earlier. The reason we spun that in is because the pin is longer on this side now, sticks out further. So we're gonna basically line those two up again. See where the pin goes in there? And you're gonna wanna line your chain up right here too because letting a little bit of pressure off the pin allows you to do that. Once you feel like you got it, you're basically holding this right here. And it's kinda nice that this chain rolls down this side like this because you can hold the chain right here and also kinda use this finger and this finger here, kinda like scissors to help you kind of maintain and balance this. So this is basically how I do it. A lot of work with the fingers. I'm a flatlander, mostly. Either way, I try to find the secrets to everything. You guys heard that little click? That means it popped through, it pierced through. Now we're golden. We should be able just to go ahead and spin that in there. See it pushing in. And on this side, you're not gonna be able to set the depth because that's only for taking it out. So you're gonna to have to watch as this pin goes through, you're gonna see it pop out this side. You only want to push it out as far as this side goes in and sticks out over here, all right? So you basically want to center the pin on your chain when you do this. So, we'll look over here. Looks about right, right there. If you guys can see it on both sides. At that time, spin it out. Chain's free to go again. 
And now, this is the funny thing. You're going to notice sometimes there's a tight spot in these, as there is here. You notice that doesn't want to bend at all. All this wants to bend, except for right here. You see I can hold that? Solve that problem, turn it sideways, stretch it out just a little bit. Just work it. Next thing you know, no problem. Does what you want it to. That's how you break a chain, put it back together. It's real simple. Uh, when you're doing this, it shouldn't take you but a couple of minutes, and that's the best part about it. It's an easy fix. Don't use a hammer. Don't use a chisel. Get a chain breaker. They're not very expensive, and trust me, it's well worth the convenience of having it, especially when you need it. It's Bill Nitschke. If you got any more questions, get a hold of me. You know where I'm at.